why I love being a dental associate. Hey, I'm Dr. Avi. I'm an associate dentist and I work in Austin, Texas. Going into and coming out of dental school, all I heard from everybody was, if you wanna be successful in dentistry, you have to be an owner. Whenever I tell family and friends that I'm a dentist, their first question is, oh, do you have your own practice? Like that's some measure of success in dentistry. I proudly say, no, I am not. I'm an associate. And the reason being is because I love my life right now. Don't get me wrong. Part of me wanted to be an owner because the idea of it sounded really cool. But after working as an associate and kind of getting grounded and getting my feet settled, I realized that ownership really may not be the pinnacle of dentistry that everyone makes it out to be. In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly why I love being an associate dentist. Three words, work-life balance. I am huge on work-life balance. I think in order to have good work-life balance, you have to be really, really good at exercising boundaries. That means you must find a way to unplug and decompress the second you leave work. Everybody hears the saying, don't take work home with you. That is precisely what having boundaries are. There's a couple ways that I decompress when I leave work. The first thing that I do is when I get in the car, I listen to some music. It's the quickest way for me to just unplug. When I get home, I change, I get into my workout clothes, I go to the gym or I go for a walk. Those things just really help me clear my head and, and be able to move into the next phase of my day. After that, me and my wife usually make dinner or we go out to eat. This is a great way for us to bond and connect. At this point, I'm so checked out. We're then watching movies or we're watching a show, anything unrelated to work, it's awesome. I try to meditate before I go to bed. I'm not as consistent with it as I'd like, but it's something that really helps put the icing on the cake to being able to decompress from a long day. When you're an owner, doing the things that I just described can be very difficult, not impossible, just very difficult because there are so many more responsibilities that you naturally have being an owner. Your practice is a living, breathing thing basically that you have to tend to constantly. Every owner talks about it. Again, it's not a bad thing. It just comes with a lot more responsibility and a time commitment. Vacation. I love it. I love vacation. This builds off of that work-life balance that I was talking about. I'm an associate in a group practice, so whenever I take a vacation, I don't have to carry the stress of wondering whether or not my patients are gonna be okay because the other associate that I work with, I know will always have my back when I'm gone. The other thing that I don't have to worry about is the practice falling apart when I'm gone. Okay, the practice falling apart is a bit traumatic. <laughs> but yes, vacation, very crucial to do. It's good to step away from work and unplug and enjoy life. That's my opinion. And when you do this, your patients are taken care of, like I said. They're gonna be in good hands. Speaking of hands, please use yours to drill that like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. The schedule. As an associate, currently I'm working four days a week from eight to 5 p.m. Could I work more days? Sure. Do I want to? No. I am comfortable with the amount of money that I'm currently making in my schedule. I am very happy with the balance that I have to not have to work that extra day. Dentistry is a mentally and physically taxing job. That's just the truth. Dental offices are swimming in stress. As the dentist, you're the leader. You have to perform at a peak level delivering high quality of care to your patients while managing all this stress in the background. That's a lot. The thing that I love the most about working four days a week is it gives me three days to just rest and recover, to fully reset, get myself in a headspace to where I'm looking forward to going back to work as opposed to just dreading it. When I go in, rest and recovered, I'm ready to attack my four days of work. I give 110% every time I go in because of that. It works hand in hand. I used to work six days a week when I first got out of school. I honestly recommend it to dentists coming out of school. It gives you a sense of perspective and you can really gauge to see if that type of lifestyle is for you or not. I know some people that work six days a week and they thrive. They love it. They love everything about it and they, you know, they won't stop doing it. For me, it just wasn't, I'm not cut out for it. Can't do that. Honestly, for me, ever since I started working four days, I found that I enjoy dentistry more. I'm not as burnt out. I maximize my recovery days and I go into work ready to do my thing. There is no startup cost when you're an associate other than the student loan. I talk about the student loan in a different video. Be sure to check that out. That's the best part. You just start working. You come out, bang, you're hitting the ground running. The flexibility that you get with being an associate is awesome. 
It allows you to work on other things. For me, it's a project like this YouTube channel. Ownership is a full-time job every single hour, every single day. It's no joke. Again, I understand the financial opportunity and benefits that come with ownership. There is no cap to what you can make. I'm a huge believer in doing what you love and what makes you happy. Dentistry makes me happy, but I have other things that I also enjoy and like to spend time on. Being an associate lets me have time and space to fully dive in and feel these other passions that excite me. In the right situation, being an associate can be awesome and a great thing for you to do. I'm a huge advocate for being an associate, and I'm here to tell you that you can still be successful in dentistry without being an owner. There's no shame in being an associate. As long as you're happy and living your best life, you're gonna be just fine.